I feel very privileged because I've known the President in many roles as a colleague in the Senate, as an opponent in a hard-fought primary, and, and the President I was so proud to serve as Secretary of State. But I've also known him as the friend that I was honored to stand with in the good times and the hard times. Someone who has never forgotten where he came from. And Donald, if you're out there tweeting, it's Hawaii. So if, if you're voting for the other team, it's not because of the economy. It's not because of the economy. You gotta be you gotta be clear about that. I mean even 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 the uh, even the, the, the Republicans on the other side don't really know what the guy's talking about. They really don't. They really don't. You ask them, they're all like, I don't know. <laughs> then they kind of duck the other way. I, am I joking? No. So, so you can choose a path that divides us with harsh rhetoric and pits working people against each other, all the while pushing policies that will just help folks at the top do even better. But that's not helping working families. Or we can transform our politics so they're responsive to working families, so that all people of all races and all backgrounds does get a higher wage, and all folks get quality health care and a decent retirement, and all children in this country get a better education that lets them dream bigger than their circumstances. That's what Hillary Clinton believes, and that's why I'm supporting her for President of the United States. And that's why you should, too. Now, now to me, that in and of itself would be enough to make the choice. But we've got some other choices. You can go the path that denies climate change is real, or you can choose a path where American jobs and businesses lead the world to combat it. You know, over the last seven years, we have doubled renewable energy in this country. We remember, remember when we were all concerned about our dependence on foreign oil? Well, let me tell you, we've cut the amount of oil we buy from other countries in half. Remember when the other team was promising they were going to get gas prices down in like 10 years? And we did it. Did it. So, so we've been able to shape an energy policy that's good for families, good for your pocketbook. And with Secretary Clinton's help, America ultimately led nearly 200 other nations to an agreement to save this planet for future generations. Uh, maybe, maybe you don't care about this. Maybe you think 99% of scientists are wrong. Or you can, you're welcome. But, but, but the point is we're not done with this. So where we go from here is up to you. You can vote with the climate deniers who want to tear up the agreements we've crafted and doom our kids to a more dangerous world, or you can vote to keep putting people back to work, building a cleaner energy future for all of us. That's part of what's at stake in this, in this election. That's one of the reasons I'm supporting Hillary Clinton for president. You know, Hillary mentioned 
how we operate on the world stage. Now, let me just say, I, I know the other guys talks about making America great again. I, I, America's really great. And, and just the other day, uh, somebody was writing about, wow, when you look at the surveys in the world, turns out that when Obama came in office, the world didn't think we were that great. But now they think we're the greatest. They think we're the strongest. They think we're the best position. We, we were in a hole before I came into office, but right now the world, the rest of the world, thinks we're pretty darn great. And, and by the way, you can look that up. That, that's a fact. That's not like just something I just made up and tweeted. So, you know, there are actually like surveys done. They poll people so you actually know what people think. You don't just assert it. And it turns out that's what they think. You can look it up. Part of the reason for that is because we had an outstanding Secretary of State. Part of the reason is, is that Hillary understood and continues to understand that just a bunch of tough talk doesn't replace the hard work of diplomacy. A bunch of phony bluster doesn't keep us safe. And she understands we can't retreat from a world that needs American leadership. That's why she offers a smarter approach that uses every element of American power to protect our people and to protect our allies. She is and will be a stateswoman who makes us proud around the world. She'll deploy diplomacy whenever possible, but she also knows what it, what it takes to be a commander-in-chief and I know she will never hesitate to use force when it is necessary to protect us. And she'll know how to mobilize the world around the causes that we believe in, that we know are right, and make sure other countries pull their own weight. That's strength. That's leadership. And that's why Hillary Clinton has to be the next president of the United States of America. Hi, everybody. My name is Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Thanks for tuning in. All right. So um, if you want to see the full Obama Hillary Clinton rally in North Carolina from this afternoon, it's available at the Alternate Mox News YouTube page um, on the YouTube page, which this video is posted. There is a, a box right below the video, the little clickable link right down there. It says, uh, it says uh, Alternate Mox News YouTube page. Click here. Please do that now. Go and subscribe to the Alternate Mox News YouTube page. This way, these videos will just wind up in your inbox, and then you can decide if you want to watch them or not. And if you don't want to watch Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama lie in your face, uh, which is understandable that you wouldn't want to watch that because it might make you want to vomit uncontrollably, uh, there's also a Donald Trump rally coming up in about an hour or so. That'll be posted. Well, it hasn't started yet. Probably be about an hour long. I will post that shortly after. Uh, shortly after it, he's done speaking, so he might have some interesting things to say about the FBI and Hillary Clinton, crooked Hillary. I bet he does. Um, and I just want to say that if if you look at this video, uh, if you watch. Obama and if you actually watch the video you can see just these people can't stand each other they hate each other the body language is clear that they they just have zero respect for each other and and it's easy to understand they're both complete and utter phonies oh wave to the people oh there you are hey there's my buddy there's my buddy I see my buddy there he is there he is there's my buddy oh you're so cool oh wave to the people everybody loves us everybody you're so full of shit America is the most respected place you know, I'm so tired of this. Let's make America great again. Let's make America great for everyone. Again. How about we make America free again? How about we free Americas from endless wars based on lies, endless wars of choice for profit? Where's the candidate that's going to stand up there and say, you know, Obama says, 
I just played it. The Hillary Clinton won't hesitate to use our military. You're absolutely fucking right. Okay, the second Hillary Clinton gets elected to the steps into the Oval Office as the commander in chief, she will immediately have to prove that she has just as big a balls as any commander in chief that ever stepped into the Oval Office. She will immediately have to prove that. Not because anybody's expecting her to, but because in her mind's eye, she needs to make it clear. She won't be pushed around. Just because she's a woman. It's ridiculous, you know. Yeah, America is the most respected. Everyone thinks we're great. Everyone thinks we're great. Everybody. Everybody in the world thinks we're great. I mean, how sick is Obama to stand up there and say this shit? We're marching around the world going to wars of choice, killing innocent people. The immigration flood that has happened in the European Union, all of those people think we're great for what we did in Iraq, in Syria, in Libya. All of those people think we're great. I mean, you're a really fucked up person if you think that's what the rest of the world thinks of America. Really fucked up. And that's who's leading us. Obama and another really fucked up person that he's going to put in charge next. Because he made sure that she's not going to get charged by the FBI. To preserve his legacy. Of what? Of being the drone king? Of killing women and children? I know Hillary Clinton won't hesitate to preserve that history that legacy of yours Obama because she's gonna kill just as many or way more innocent women and children than you have my bet is way more because just enough won't be it won't be good enough for Hillary <sighs> okay I'm no Donald Trump fan I think Donald Trump spews a bunch of bullshit that he's never going to make happen that's the history of Donald Trump. But we know, we know for fact. Obama just stated it. Hillary won't hesitate to use our military as cannon fodder. Your brothers and sisters, our mothers and fathers, our children as cannon fodder. As long as it's good for Israel. You know it's true. If you want to see the full speech, the full campaign rally, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, it's available over at the Alternate Mox News YouTube page. Alternate Mox News YouTube page. Uh, there's a clickable link in the text body of this video on the YouTube page. This video is posted on there's a little box underneath the video. Inside there it says Alternate Mox News YouTube page. Click here. Please do that now. Go over and subscribe to that page. That way these videos will just simply, not these videos of me talking, but the full rallies. There's a Donald Trump rally coming up in about an hour. That will just wind up in your inbox automatically, which will make it much simpler than me coming out here and having to tell you to go, go to that page to see it. Uh, one month left on, on uh, limited access to posting videos longer than 15 minutes. Right now I'm limited because of copyright strike. That ends in one month, August 6th. So trying real hard to get through this month. It helps if you guys go and subscribe to the other page. If anybody wants to buy me lunch, there's also uh, a clickable link in the text body of this video to do that. I really like lunch. It makes a huge difference in my world. It's allowed me, you buying me lunch, has allowed me to post 60,000 videos on YouTube over the last 10 years. So thank you very much for that. <sighs> Stay cool. One of these days this war is going to end. Not with Hillary in charge. We know that for a fact.